New Hope TV, your encounter with God. Hi girls and boys, my name is Candy. I'm Chippy and I'm Peaches. We're so glad that you could join us today and today is Children's Day and we want to wish you a happy, happy Children's, Children's Day. Day. Thank you so much for joining us and we're going to sing a song for you and it talks about the joy of God and I believe at the end of this program you are going to feel full of joy. So are you ready to join us? Please stand up, join us as we sing and do the actions, okay? Are we ready? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my head. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy. and boys, I hope you had fun singing along with us the joy of the Lord. Well, today on our program, we have a very special guest. Her name is Isabel, but we call her Izzy. And she's the most amazing girl I've ever seen. And I can't wait for her to meet you. So let's welcome Izzy. Come on, Izzy. Come on now, Izzy. Don't feel shy. Hello, Candy. Hello, boys and girls. Hi, Izzy. We are so glad that you made it today. And today is a very special day. Do you know what today is? No. Well, today in India, we are celebrating Children's Day. Oh. Do you want to wish the girls and boys a happy Children's Day? Go ahead. Yeah. Happy Children's Day, everybody. Wow. It's going to be an awesome program. So today, because it's Children's Day, it's one of the most amazing days because not only because Chacha Nehru loved children, but it's because God loved children. So wow. today I'm going to be talking about how special you are and how special every one of you who are watching are. Can I ask you a question, Izzy? Yes, Candy. When you look into the mirror, what do you see? Um, I see my white beautiful cheeks my orange hair oh i love your hair by the way thank you and well i i see my orange hair but sometimes children make fun of me and Do i feel they? bad oh but i'm going to tell you something easy today girls and boys you're going to learn that it doesn't matter what people say because God made you the way you are. You're special. Am you I? are, yes you are, and you are a child of God. Am I? So do you want to know what's today's Bible reading? Yeah. So today's Bible reading is taking, taken from Psalms 139 verses, I'm going to read from 13, 14. You're going to know that God loves you so much 
Okay, are you ready? Yes. So the Bible says, for you are formed, for you are formed in my inward part. So God has made your whole body inside and out. From your mother's womb, I have made you. And God says in verse 14 that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. How marvelous is that? Yeah, wow. So today's message is that you are a child of God and you are special. And on today's Children's Day, I'm here to say that you are special. Do you know that you are beautiful? Yes. Do you know that God made you just the way you are? He did? Yes, he did. Do you know that God created you in his own image? Wow. Yes, he did. And God knows you by name. Really? Yes, I don't know about Izzy, but he knows your name is Isabel. Wow. Yes. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Do you like stories? Yes, Candy, please. Okay. So let me take you to... Um, uh, a little town called Woodland. Woodland? Okay. And Woodland was a, is a little town where all the little girls and boys and moms and dads were made out of wood. And the man that made the girls and boys and moms and dads were called Eli. And Eli was this big man living on a big a mountain in a big house. Candy? And, yes? What does Eli mean? Eli was the one who made and carved the wooden boys and girls in the town of Woodland, okay? And he was the most important person in, that, in the whole story. And you're going to come to know who he actually represents at the end, okay? So you got to be patient, Izzy. Okay, okay. I'll try. All right. So the main character in the story is called Woody. And a Woody was, I think, a little bit like you, a little bit afraid and scared. But he never knew how important he was and how special he was. And there was a sheriff, the main man in the town, and his name was Splinter. Splinter. Yes. Now, Splinter was a very, very rich man, and he was a very angry man, and he wanted all the glory to himself. So he came out one day and he said, Citizens of Woodland, we're going to have a star day, a star day and a dot day. A dot day? Yes, a dot day. So let me tell you what it's all about. So the, the sheriff or the main man of the town would give boxes to all the citizens with stars and with dots. And he told them, if you see anyone doing good, you got to place a star on the person's face or on a hand or a dress. But if you see the person doing anything bad, then you got to place a dot on a hand or on a hair. So what the sheriff did was he took all the stars and he started putting it on himself because he wanted to win the trophy. But then there was Woody. Woody was scared and was so nervous. And every time he would come out, he would drop something, or he would fall, or he'd trip somebody. He was so clumsy. Are you clumsy? Uh, a little bit. You are? Yeah. Well, that's okay. So Woody felt so bad and so sad, and he would always be made fun of. Were you made fun of? All the time, because of my orange hair. Oh, but I love your hair. Thank you, Candy. So, let's go back to the story. So, Woody was so sad and depressed and, and down, and he was so unhappy. And then, everyone would make fun of Woody. Would say, oh, look at Woody, all the dots. Let's put all the dots. And they would put all the dots on Woody. And he, oh, he no. never even had a star on his body. And one day, he met a girl called Chippy. Oh, that's and a nice name. Yes. And Chippy came walking along and passed Woody. And he looked at Chippy and he said, wow, there's no dots on Chippy and no stars on Chippy. Wow. Who is this girl? And then he called her Chippy. And Chippy stopped. And Chippy said, hi, Woody. What, what's the problem? And he said, why don't you have any stars and dots on your body? And she said, do you want to know why? Do yes, you? yes. She said, you need to come to Eli's house. <gasps> Eli, 
No, but I'm so scared of Eli's house because Eli has all blades and, and uh, the, he has axes and all kinds of knives. No, I cannot go to Eli's house. Then she said, and I can't tell you why I don't have stars and dots on my body. And she went marching on to Eli's house. So he was sitting down alone and he was crying because everyone's making fun of him. And he said, I'm going to Eli's house. Do you want to find out who's Eli? Yes. Okay. So he goes to Eli's house so confident and so happy, but with all the dots on his body. And then he opens the door and he gets scared because he's, he thought Eli is a big monster. And then he goes crawling and then he sees all the knives and the axe saw and the Don't blade. Don't go there. Yes. He was so scared. He was hiding. And he said, hello, hello, is anyone there? And then suddenly Eli says, What did he say, Candy? He said, Woody! And Eli got so scared he started running. But then Eli went and carried Woody up and put him on the table. And he said, Don't be afraid, Woody. I'm Eli. I made you. And you are so beautiful just the way I made you. I'm the one who carved you and Put, you, put your hands and your legs and your eyes and your, your pretty nose and your orange hair. I'm the one, so don't be afraid. And he said, but look at me, I'm full of dots. I don't have any stars. And then Eli said, do you want to remove the dots? Do you want to know how to do it? Yes. So he said, there's only one thing, and that is, do not worry about what people say. What people think about you, it doesn't matter if they say you're good or you're bad. You got to just know who made you. And I made you and I made you perfect. So the moment you start, stop thinking about it, the spots will start going out of your body. Wow. Yes. So he said, okay. And every day he'd go to Eli's house. And every time he goes and he thinks of how wonderful he is and how handsome he is, a spot would leave him. Wow. And eventually he didn't have any more spots. He was looking so perfect. The day of the star day came yeah. and, and the sheriff said, let's know who's got the most number of stars. And he goes, it is me. I'm the one who got the stars. But you know, the sheriff was a bad man. Oh, yes, so we, really? cannot, we can't cheer for him. And then he said, who got the most number of dots? And everybody started saying, Woody, 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 Woody. And he shouted, it is Woody. Wow. But Woody was not there. No. Woody was walking to Eli's house. And he was wow. happy because he had no dots. And he was not worried about what the people said about him. He was finally free. And he was not afraid anymore. So the story is, Eli represents God. Wow. Yes. And God made me and God made you. And he made us perfect. And we are so wonderfully made. Do you know what's wonderfully uh, made? What it means? It means extremely good. And God delights in you and all the little children. So today I'm here to say that you are special. I am? Yes, you are. And you are wonderful, and God made you just the way you are. And you don't have to be afraid of what people say about you. You do not need to be scared of what people say about you. It's not what people say about you. It's what God says about you. And God says that you are my child, and I am a child of God. Did you enjoy the story? I did, Candy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So girls and boys... And Izzy, if you feel that you are afraid or if you're scared or you're worried about what your mom and dad said to you or your friends said to you or your teacher said to you, you don't have to worry anymore because I want to say a small prayer. And when you say that prayer, you repeat it after me, God is going to come. Jesus is going to come into your heart and all your fear is going to go and all your nervousness is going to go and you're going to be so happy and you're going to sing, I've got the joy, joy in my heart. Are you ready, Izzy? Yes. Do you want to say the prayer? Um, I repeat after you. Okay. Here we go. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and say, 
Dear Lord, Dear Lord, thank you that we are not too small. Thank you that we are not too small to know you as our God. To know you as our God. Jesus, Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart and please forgive me of all my wrongdoings. And please forgive me of all my wrongdoings. Please write my name in your book in heaven. Please write my name in your book in heaven and help me to love every day. And help me to love every day. Thank you for coming into my heart. Thank you for coming into and my heart. And filling me with full of joy. And filling me with full of joy. Happiness. Happiness. I thank you and I love you, Jesus. I thank you and I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Izzy, how are you feeling? Good. I'm so I glad. feel beautiful now. We're going to sing a song. The child of God. Do you know that song, Izzy? Yes. Do you want to join with us? Sure. Okay, kids, one last song. I want you to stand up and do the actions with us and let's sing, I am a child of God. Yeah. Father God, I am yours every day. I had an amazing time. Can we meet again? Of course we can meet again. We have children from all ages, from, from small right up to 12 and 13, join us every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at our church called Evangel Assembly Church. And if you want to be a part of it, and if you don't know how to get there, the address would be uh, on the screen, along with my phone number, you can call up and ask, Candy, how do I get to Evangel Family? And I can direct you there. You're most welcome to come along with Izzy and be a part of our Sunday School program every Sunday at 8 a.m. Yes! Thank you so much, boys and girls, for being a part of our program. A happy Children's Day. Have a wonderful day. Bye! Bye! So Your spirit